Watch your RPDs, lesson number 3 of 4. Spud can direction vectors. Caused by RPD. And how to cope with it. Content of lesson number 3 of 4. Spud can direction vector. What is a spud can direction vector? How to calculate a spud can direction vector? How to cope with spud can direction vectors? The learning outcomes. After this complete lesson you will be able to identify a spud can direction. Interpolate the vector direction of the spud cans. Combine the spud can direction vectors with the programmed RPD alarms. File a RPD sheet with spud can direction vectors. Jack with high RPDs. Cope and resolve RPD failures. Before we start with the lesson, disclaimer, the operations manual of your rig is telling you exactly what is the allowable RPD during jacking operations. You must jack your rig always within the allowable safe limits, this to avoid leg damage or total loss of the rig. The illustrations and the numbers given during the course are only for learning purposes. These numbers will always variate on each rig and each operation. Therefore you must study and understand your rig's operational manual before any jacking operation can take place. Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Let's start with lesson number 3 of 4. Spud can direction vector. What is a spud can direction vector? A spud can direction vector is caused by RPD. In case RPD occurs at a particular leg, the reactions at the cords connected to the spud can are not equally any longer. These different reactions force a spud can in a certain direction comparative to cord A. This direction is called the spud can direction vector. Below we see the three legs of a jack-up barge. All three legs have a different spud can direction vector, as you can see. The red colored arrow on each leg is pointing in a different direction. How to find the angle of the spud can direction, comparatively to the A chord? We project a leg on a protractor, similar to a nautical compass. We read the angle, of the spud can direction vector, clockwise, and in degrees. As we can see now, the spud can direction vector, of the bow leg is 202 degrees. Question. What are the spud can direction vectors of the starboard and port legs? The correct answer is port leg 265 degrees and starboard leg 43 degrees. Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass. Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Question. What is a spud can direction vector?
Answer. A spodkin direction vector is the direction, in degrees, which the spodkin, comparatively to the A chord, is forced to move to. Question. Why does a spodkin direction vector occur? Answer. A spodkin direction vector is caused by RPD. There are different reactions at the leg chords comparatively. We have learned how to interpolate the angle of the spodkin direction vector. We can add the RPDs and alarm colors to the vectors. Bow leg. Vector is green, smaller than 35 mm RPD. Starboard leg. Vector is red, RPD is 95 mm. Unable to jack, this leg is blocked by the jacking system. Port leg. Vector is yellow, smaller than 47 mm RPD. Question. Are we able to jack the rig? Yes or no? And motivate your answer please. The correct answer is, yes, we can jack the rig. We can jack the rig only, with the bow and port legs, this due to the blockage of the starboard leg, with a red RPD alarm. Starboard leg cannot be jacked. Let's make a new calculation from scratch starting with RPDs of all the legs. Rig move and jacking operations masterclass. Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. RPD. The RPD map. Is RPV measured? A chord equals 40 mm. B chord equals 30 mm. And C. Chord equals 25 mm. RPD is the highest chord minus the lowest chord. This is face AC. 40 mm. Minus 25 mm. Equals 15 mm. This means that RPD occurs between the A and C chords face. 40 mm minus 25 mm equals 15 mm. And secondly, between the A and B chords face respectively 40 mm minus 30 mm equals 10 mm. Conclusion Whichever two chords measure, the greatest are PV values between them. Giving us the rack phase difference for that particular leg. RPV, RPD sheet, filled for the bow leg.
we have filled the complete sheet with all RPVs, and found the RPDs. Only the highest RPDs is the most important now. Bow or, forward leg, is 15 mm and green. Both aft legs are, yellow orange, respectively, 37 mm and 62 mm. Now we can add the spud can direction vectors. How do we know, and calculate, the direction in degrees, of the spud cans? RPV RPD, measurement sheet. Also available as automatically, calculating, Excel sheet at your course library. If you are not engaged in our courses, but want to have the sheet, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, and get it for free, just drop us an email. Rig move and jacking operations masterclass. Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Nautical Institute, recognized training certificate, after successful completion, of rigged move and jacking operations master class. This was a complementary part of lesson 3 of 4, and part of the complete, Rig Move and Jacking Operations Master Class. To proceed and learn all about RPD, vectors, and cope and manage these failures properly, and be awarded, with an officially recognized certificate. Kindly contact us at the below email address please. Thank you very much. For your interest in our courses. And, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to make more free lessons possible. Subscribe, like, share, to our YouTube channel, to stay tuned with training and, the hottest job openings in the industry.